My name is Joshua Pauly, and for my demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate Ampere's Law in a DC motor. Ampere's Law states that the magnetic field H, resulting from the current, can be found by evaluating the closed contour integral. H.dl is equal to J.ds, which is equal to the current enclosed in the contour, where J is the total current density through the surface S defined by the closed contour L. And now we'll look at Ampere's law on a toroid. For a contour with radius r that passes inside the toroid with n turns and current i, integral of j.ds is equal to the current enclosed, which is equal to the number of turns of coil times the current flowing through the coil. And the integral h.dl is equal to h times 2 pi r. By setting them equal to each other, we can calculate the magnetic field H. H is equal to Ni over 2 pi r. My demonstration utilizes solenoids. So taking the result from the toroid, we can approximate the magnetic field for any point inside a solenoid by assuming that the solenoid is simply a portion of a toroid with infinite radius. The magnetic field can be calculated with the following equation. H equals N I over L, or as is seen in the diagram to the right, B is equal to <coughs> mu H, which is mu little n I, where little n is the number of turns per mean path length L. This is the electric motor that I built to demonstrate Ampere's law. Current will flow from this wire into this coil of wire wrapped around this nail, creating a solenoid. With the current flowing in its direction, it will create magnetic poles at the head and in the base of each nail. The current will then flow through this wire back here and contact the metal on the test tube on the shaft, creating brushes, brushed contact. When the wire is in contact with the brushes, it'll, the current will travel through this nail up here, making it another solenoid and giving it magnetic poles as well. The current will then flow back out through the other metal plate contacting the brush and through this other nail wrapped with wires creating another solen solenoid with another magnetic field. <coughs> After the, with the magnetic fields in the nails, the motor will begin to spin. And after it spins a bit, it will lose contact. And then the brushes will switch con metal plate contacts. That way the polarity, the magnetic polarity in the nail up here will switch. And that does that happens every about half turn. So with both these nails having north magnetic poles and this nail spinning with switching nails poles, it drives the motor to spin. And I will turn it on. And as long as there's current flowing through the wire, the motor will continue to spin.